What is up, everyone? I am Jeffrey Kirby from the Renegade Roundtable, where you can catch us each and every Thursday, 6 p.m., as we live stream every week, where we break down and talk all things Pittsburgh sports. Today, I am doing another reaction kind of video. With the jersey that I am wearing, it will probably hint on what who I am uh, reacting to. Also, by the title, I am reacting to Troy Polamalu's career highlights. Uh, this video will be in the description down below if you want to go and just watch the original video as well. But if you like these kind of videos, continue to smash that like button like, or drop a comment as well. Keep on subbing. I did one reaction video with the Oakland or with the Las Vegas Raiders game earlier. And it did very well and it inspired me to want to try to do more. So if you do like these kind of videos, drop a like and drop a comment. And until then, here we go. All right, here we go. Got to make it to the 42 for the first. Oh, this is start off with a banger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah, of course got to cut up field. Got to cut across field. Look at Aaron Smith getting out there. Yes, indeed. I don't think I love football. I love life. I love life, but football is a part of life. And in that way, I do love football. I don't idolize football. Football doesn't run my life. Hmm. Football is not who we are. It's what we oh, do. Oh, yeah. You know, he's very quiet. He never asks for much. He never wants to be the focal leader that. on his team. He just wants to play football and be happy doing it. Damn well he's happy. We all know he's one of the greatest. Strong safety. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We love he him. He might be one of the greatest athletes that I've ever met. He can do things that no other safety can do. <laughs> oh, yup. Yes, indeed. Is that, is that John Kitna, if I'm not mistaken? Drew Brees in a Chargers uniform is something that you will never get used to seeing. It's so weird seeing Drew Brees in a uh, Chargers uniform. Steps up, goes on the run. Oh yeah, that was just, he was just sitting right there. That was a gimme. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, get off me! Get the hell off me, Carson! Oh, what's new? Oh, what's new? First off, that, that uniform combination for Cleveland was ugly as hell. Let's get. Let's not forget about that. But I ain't gonna lie. These Buffalo uniforms, I love. I love those Buffalo uniforms, but it don't matter. Oh, yep, another pick. Back when the Jets were good, before they became abysmal. Before they came. Before they came abysmal. Five interceptions, a touchdown, ninety-six combined tackles. Troy are also the things that make him a little different. Oh, look at a young Mike Tomlin. To read quarterbacks, anticipate, take calculated risk. You always have yep. to know where he is. If he's near the line of scrimmage, you better be alert because that he's castle. a great blitzer and wow. he does a great job of disguising. And I think that's a challenging thing for any offense. From the 15 of Pittsburgh, McNair oh. throws a strike. Bobby yep. Bobby, yep. Oh, yeah. Steve McNair. Here's Give me that. Give me that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. Take that home. Take that home. Oh, yup. You ain't. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Touchdown. Troy Polamalu. Or Troy Polamalu. Shout out to Pat McAfee for that. Oh, nice little play action. But guess what? It don't matter. Troy Polamalu is there. Yes, indeed. Oh, this is infamous. It's ironic because the week I'm recording this is the week three game, so that's ironic. Oh, play! Give me that! Give me that! Oh, oh this was back when Kansas City was absolutely terrible. They were terrible. Like Vic, it don't matter. Lefty, righty, it don't matter what way you throw. He's still. Hold on, no, no. I'm not letting this play slide. What's it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Troy Palomalo will change again. He has closing speed. Yeah. It's just amazing. Well, on television, you don't Give me see that. Troy in the screen. And all of a sudden, oh, where the hell you think you're going, you unmobile, uh, unmobile ass Joe Flacco? You know, he thinks he's a great broken field. I couldn't runner. talk for a second. You know. When he gets the ball, you can Hold on, real quick. I want to stop. So, can we talk about his 
hairline real quick. Let's talk about how crisp Mike Tomlin's hairline is. That is a crisp hairline. But back to our regularly I'm not scheduled walk program. Away from the game, saying, you know what? Maybe I should have mm. stepped just a little bit out of my shell. It would have made the difference, you know, in winning and losing this game. Oh my brother, we don't have to worry about that. Oh, yup, give me that. Is that Matt Schaub? Is that Matt Schaub? Oh, bouncing the earth. Up, oh, give me that. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, this is this play is ridiculous. How the hell do you get under that? How the hell do you get under that? Like that is just I, that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Oh yeah. Oh, what's new? Cincinnati throwing an interception. Oh, get off me. He said, I don't care if this game's over or not. I'm fighting for those yards. Oh yep. Matt Castle. Oh yep. Butterfingers. Give me that. Whoop! Where the hell do you think you're going? Yup. Romo. A little fake with his shoulders. Oh yeah. For mediocre Tony Romo. Even though I love him as a commentator. Let me know down below. Do you love Tony Romo as a commentator? Yes or no? A lot of people say yes. A lot of people say no. Comment down below. Yes or no to Tony Romo as an announcer. There was an AFC championship. We had a fourth down and one. And Flacco was going to run a quarterback. It's a five-star matchup. All right, after a quick break, here we go. In motion, and Troy's got this guy man-to-man. -man, mm -hmm. And right when they get to the football, he stops tracking his guy. So it's him he right here. Toward the line of Let's watch. Oh. Here's the stake. Oh. Flacco, second chance. That. Second effort. Oh, and it looks God. like they're going to mark him short of it. Anytime I watch any part of this game, I get PTSD in the greatest way possible because, my God, this team was fun to watch. That 2008 defense was ridiculous. And, oh, yeah, turnover time. Oh, we get to see this play again? We get to see it again? Oh, this never gets too old. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big man, Aaron Smith. Get out there. Bow. Touchdown. Yes, indeed. And then, like, three plays what? Three plays later, Wills McGahee gets absolutely leveled by Ryan Clark. It's like two or three plays later. We also felt yep. like this is our division. There's no better way to drive mm -hmm. them home than beat them in the AFC Championship game and beat them three times in a football season. Yeah, you know how hard that is to beat a team three times what in a season teams in the NFL? What makes games great? And it's these these opportunities that seldom they come. Raymond James Stadium, the site of Super Bowl. And just hosted another one earlier this year. That we faced throughout the course of hmm. the year and prepared us for that moment. Coach always talks about Sticky Lombardi. All these marks, you know, have memories and a lot of players that have worked really hard to get yep. their hands on this. The oh yeah! Jump up there, big man or little man, whatever you want to call it. Yes, indeed. I don't know why I called him big man, a but lot of things he's doing the field where we love you. You just want to use bad oh. words because Tell him to, good oh, words can't get off me. Every time I think you can't do nothing better than that last play you just did. Yeah, give me that ball. You just come back. Is that Jermaine Gresham? Awesome. Amazing. Give me that ball. Down and five. Oh, this play is ridiculous. Y'all want to talk about... Y'all go crazy about Odell Beckham's catch? This was Odell's Beckham catch before Odell Beckham catch. With the left hand. Oh, give me that. Get, come off that edge. Whoop! Oh, my God. <laughs> There's that play again. Oh, my God. Kerry Collins at quarterback. Oh, God. Oh, this is giving me... Yup. Ah, yes. Pittsburgh beating uh, Oakland at the time. Who would have ever thought? Yeah, damn right he's done it again. Oh, yep. Give me that, Joe. Come on, your name is Joe. Oh, look at big man Lamar Woodley. Yes, indeed. I ain't gonna lie though, 
Baltimore's field looks crispy that way with that turf. It looked good. But uh, you didn't hear that. Two interceptions and a touchdown this game versus Cincinnati. Jump off. Yup. Touchdown. Look at that athleticism. Look at him. He's like, nope, you ain't get. He's like, you ain't tackling me. Carson. Come on, now your name is Carson. Oh, yeah. Nice way to, uh. Nice way to do that. <laughs> this man's out here trying to play uh, backyard football. Oh, yeah, give me that. At that point, that's when the Browns fans knew they f***ed up. Defensive player of the year. Oh, yeah. We like that. Guys like Troy Palomalu are the guys that you get down in your stance, you look back there, and you take off for a Brent route, and you Snellick. think you're free, wow. and next thing you know, they're coming out of <laughs> Ryan Fitzpatrick in a Buffalo uniform. I came back to the six, I couldn't see it. I'm just reading Palomalu. I'm running right into Palomalu. Palomalu! I hate you, teach me. TJ Hushman's out of over the top. He's a very good cerebral player. He makes a lot of plays because he's smart and he watches a lot of film and he can tell. He anticipates yeah. really, really well. And he's Sometimes dumb. it looks like he's cheating or he's guessing, but he's making educated guesses out there. Who's in front of a guy? Oh, yeah. Oh, was this the year? I think that was the year that Indianapolis was terrible because of uh, Peyton Manning not being there. Oh, my God. That time he did jump on it. Oh yeah, we love this. Seneca Wallace at quarterback. Yeah, it don't matter. Still an interception. Oh yeah, we can see this play again. Uh-huh. Been making plays for years against the Bengals. His first career sack came against Cincinnati back in 2003. Yeah, and he got another one. Buddy. A boop! Give me that! Big hit and all oh, he rips his hands through there to see lost, but they're down so against the big patient. Oh yeah. <laughs> Didn't we lose that game? I feel like was this a game that we lost against them? I don't remember. I feel like we lost that game. Oh, is this Matt Flynn? Oh my. Yeah, give me that Brett Kiesel, big Brett Kiesel. Oh, De a young DeAndre Hopkins. Young DeAndre Hopkins. That was back when our secondary started to become butt cheeks. So that Andre Johnson. I love Andre Johnson. That man was ridiculous. But so was that man. Right there. A lot of right on the there. football field dealing with arrogance, of ego, of pride mm. that I just try to protect myself against. I think there comes a point in the game that play will never get really old. Cognitively thinking. You just kind of see the way everything develops. That man is just sitting on top of a pile like it's nothing. Set. You kind of see their splits. You kind of see the quarterback's energy. And the more and more you play the game of football, the more and more you have this sensitivity. Oh, Matt Ryan? Yep, don't football. matter. Give me that. I know this guy's Tiptoe swag. His heart is just is huge. I'm, I'm very proud to be his teammate. I'd like to think that I share mm -hmm. the same passion that they do. However, I may not express it the same way they do. Let's look at his stats real quick. 32 interceptions, 14 forced fumbles, 7 fumble recoveries, 778 tackles, 12 sacks. Four-time All-Pro, first-team All-Pro, and eight-time Pro Bowler. My goodness. Well, that will do it for today's video. Again, the link to this video uh, that we just watched will be down in the description. But... I hope you like these kind of videos, and if you do, once again, drop a like, drop a comment, and if you haven't yet, hit that red subscribe button. Until then, hope to see you guys again the following coming up Thursday as we will discuss all things Pittsburgh sports. Till then, drink your water. Stone, I know you'll appreciate that once again. And peace out.